today's video is going to be all about taming. I'm just going to be talking through some of the steps that I've been working on with my guinea pig minstrel. I'd just like to say that she isn't completely tame um, because I don't know whether she ever will be because of her situation and her background. But I'm just going to sort of be showing you the first half. I might progress more and do another video on it. If not, this is what I'll just keep and then that will sort of be how I've tamed her because I'm not really sure how much more progress we're going to make and stuff. But anyway, I'm really impressed with her progress and I'd just like to say a huge big thank yous to a few channels. The first one is the Pet Place TV for helping us with um, taming by her videos. The next one is Guinea Pig Secrets UK who's helped us all around with practically everything. She's been really helpful. So thank you. And of course Coco and the Crazy Cavi has helped us just throughout being helpful in general. So thank you so much. So my first tip is to cover some of the cage. And as you can see I just have a towel on the top. This is quite not really covered that much. But this was because this was quite far in. But from the beginning when I first got her I covered up like half the cage. Just to make her feel a little bit more secure and a bit more at home. And this really helped with her taming and gradually I unleashed a bit more. The next thing was to add background noise. Whether that was just me talking or a radio or music. This really really helped and I really recommend you do this. Because the more she hears the sounds the less frightened she got. And then the next one was to hang around, so just hanging around her cage, whether I was on my computer, whether I was on my iPod, didn't matter, as long as I was around and just sitting there, so she knew I was there, and you may be able to see her in the little cardboard box in this clip. By the end of it, she was flopped out in her hay, so this just made her more comfortable around me, and I had different places in the room where I'd sit down and just sit with her. Sometimes I'd talk, sometimes I wouldn't say anything, but she knew I was there, so... That really helped her with the taming and I felt like that sped along the process a lot longer because she got more familiar with me and she found I wasn't a threat no more. So after she got used to me sort of hanging around, I started to move around so she got used to my movements. Here I'm just sort of putting my hands over the cage and I did this quite a lot just so she got used to noises and actions and above her head and this just really helped. The next tip was to do the veggies through the bars so... From the beginning I used to just put the veggies in the bowl and leave her to it but then I started to hand feed them through the bars and obviously her love of veg got her very tame. I have to admit this was just amazing how she was perking right up to me, eager, ready for to take the veggies off me. At first she did run away with them but as you can see here she's happily taking them off me and just sitting there and just happily taking them without running away so this was really really great progress and I did this for about a week because I didn't want to rush her too much so I just did veggies through the bars every morning and night just a few and not only was this great for her but she really did enjoy it as well The next thing I did was removing the bars so this made her feel a lot more vulnerable and set her back a bit so again I took about a week doing this because I didn't want to rush her too much um, so she was very apprehensive and she kept running back to the box but this was on about day four where she started to get used to it and then she was coming up and hanging over the side so she soon got used to this and this was good because she no longer had those bars protecting her and she felt so much more vulnerable but she handled it really well and I knew once she was comfortable with this step that I knew I could start handling her. So this was a great indication as to whether she was ready or not and as you can see here she started to get really confident just hanging over the edge waiting for the veggies. So she wasn't threatened at the fact that I was literally just there, my knees were right next to her cage and she could almost feel my breath right there so... Um, that was tech probably very scary for her, but she handled it really well and I knew once we were comfortable I could move on to the handling. So I started the lap time and the handling really slowly by just picking her up for about 5 minutes on the first day, 10 minutes on the second, 15 on the next, and that sort of progressed it, so every day I'd add on an extra 5 minutes. Um, I tried to feed her veg on my lap the first time, she wouldn't take them because she was very, very nervous. Um, the next sort of thing that I did which really helped her was wrapped her in a towel and this made her feel a lot more secure. So that was a great tip. And then after a few days she started to warm up and eat her veg off me. Now she's not completely tame so she won't sit on my lap for hours and hours and flop out. But she's getting so much better now she'll eat her veg on me and she's quite happy to sit on my lap. 
She still seems a little bit more startled though, so I do need to work on it. But she just loves to snuggle in my hair and I think it's really cute. And the last thing I'm working on, as well as lap time, is veggies outside the cage. So this is also included on lap time, but it's just getting her used to unfamiliar territories whilst having veggies. I'll have the next taming video up and I'll have different... I'll have the progressions after this um, if we do have any more but if not this is how I have tamed Minstrel. So I have three top tips for you all and the first one is have confidence. So if you lose confidence in a guinea pig they're going to lose confidence so have confidence. The second one is patience. Guinea pigs can be very hard to tame but if you have patience they won't let you down. The third one is never give up. A lot of people think, oh, it's just easier to give up. But if you give up, you're not going to get anywhere. So keep to it and <laughs> never give up. So thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our latest video. We'll see you next time. Bye!